definitely need to get a stand to put in my car for my vlog camera because I like talking to you guys while I drive. It's kind of like talking to a friend while we drive. This is fun. But it's not that fun when I have my like tripod all wrapped around my car thing and it's not balancing very well. It is Wednesday. You will be watching this tomorrow as in Thursday, which means I'm going to vlog my day and then I'm going to go home and edit it tonight and get it up for you so you can watch it right now. So I don't know why I always put things off. I think it's because one, things are more fun for me to edit when they're like in the moment. Like if I did something a week ago, I don't want to like rewatch and like edit everything. I'd rather do it like closer to like when I'm going to post and then it's like you guys are more up to date with my life. But then also like the exciting things in my life don't always happen like a lot before Thursday, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, today is Wednesday and I am on my way to Zoo Culture from Santa Barbara. So that's like an hour and 20 minute drive to LA. Um, and I'm gonna meet up with Bradley Martin, I'm pretty sure. And we'll probably film some content, which will be fun. Um, I will show you guys my outfit when I get there. It is so overexposed right now. Mm, what is that? Okay. I'll show my outfit to you guys when I get there. Or actually, I need to stop for gas soon. What was I saying? Yeah, we're going to Zoo Culture. <laughs> and then I'm also going to go to Boutine LA today and get some more content there for you guys, do some modeling and whatnot. So I will vlog that as well. And I am doing a little solo trip today to LA. Ashley offered to come from last time's vlog. And she a queen and everything and like I would be so down except today needs to be a work day. It can't be like fun LA day because I need to get home in time to edit. <laughs> and then I also have a physics lab this evening. So you know, busy busy. So I'm getting on the freeway now and I'm gonna stop for gas shortly because there's an exit coming up with really cheap gas. Um, it's off Fairview if you're in Santa Barbara, would recommend. I'll catch up with you guys later. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed my little getting ready in the morning thing. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're here. Hour 20 liter. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead into zoo. I'm going to show you guys my outfit, I think, if I have the courage to vlog in the parking lot because I always feel like okay when I get inside it's just like outside I'm like I feel awkward especially alone but I'll try my best okay <laughs> okay here's the outfit Gymshark sports bra Gymshark shorts Converse and then I have the new raw gear socks coat stone you already know and also raw gear backpack on and my lanyard is too so that's cute okay I can go inside now Okay, voiceover Claire is back. Um, still don't have a new mic, so excuse the audio quality. But I'm going to be walking you guys through my leg day at Zoo. It was super quick, 45 minutes. And of course, we started with our heavy compound movement, which today was squats. And I did 5 by 8 with 45s on each side. And then the last two sets, I added 10 more pounds on each side. And yeah, make sure you're getting that full range of motion, driving through your heels, all that good stuff. And then next, I supersetted with pull-ups, which is totally optional. I've just found that adding pull-ups onto my lower body days when my upper body isn't fatigued has been helping me increase the amount of reps I can get, which is sick. And also, if you're just starting out with learning pull-ups, I would totally recommend using an assisted machine or a band under your feet to assist you because pull-ups have changed my back game. Okay, so next I'm moving into elevated RDLs, which recently I'd been loving for a great glute pump, but today they were not hitting as much as they normally do. I think I've just been overworking my lower back recently. But yeah, I mean this full range of motion, if you're not super comfortable with the movement, is not a great place to start. So you definitely don't need to be elevated, but if you're already pretty flexible in your hamstrings like I am, this can be helpful to get an extra stretch. Okay, you guys are gonna hate me for this next superset, but single leg movements really help with leg growth and muscle definition from what I found. So first we're starting with Bulgarian split squats, eight on each side, and then right after you finish that, you're gonna sit your butt down on the ground and pick up that weight again, and we're gonna hit single leg B stance hip thrust. So your planted foot is the one that you're driving the weight through, and then the other foot is just 
to support yourself so you're not like falling over. Okay, and next we're finishing with just three sets of good mornings. And I'm using the hack squat machine here just because Zoo Culture has one and I don't get to use one at home. So I have to take advantage while I'm there. But you can totally just put a dumbbell like behind your neck or use a bar, anything like that works too. And then after my workout, things got a little hectic. <laughs> And I was trying to help Brad make some content for his Instagram and stuff. So here are some behind the scenes clips of us figuring out how to do it. Alright guys, nice! Ryan! Ryan, come here. Can you put on my camera? Because I'm recording on hers. Got a boy, Brad. There we go. Yo, Brad, that one looked great. Good. Yeah. Okay, so how big is the space? Uh, this one, this warehouse is 10,000. 10, 11,000. 11, wow, mm -hmm. this is insane. Oh my, look at all the stuff you guys have going out. Three stocks coming in, I can tell. Mm-hmm. Use my code. Okay. Hey guys, I'm at like the Roggier warehouse and I just wanted to like update you on what's going on because I feel like I haven't talked that much, but I got a workout in at Zoo Culture and I'll talk about it in the video, but I'll also put it down in the description like I always do for you guys. And then I got some content with Brad and I'll insert like all the behind the scenes for you. They're really funny. Um, but yeah, it was a really good day, except I ended up getting lunch um, with Brad and like this other dude that we just met, it's like this insane entrepreneur guy and it was super lit and I like learned a bunch of cool stuff but didn't make it to Boutine today um, because like the studio closed before I finished here so yeah I'll get content at Boutine LA next week I'm sure but yeah I hope you enjoy the video I'm gonna drive home and edit this too so maybe we'll talk about some stuff in the car as well okay guys we're gonna go to Brad's house to go see it check it out and then I'm gonna do my lab in the car on the way home. Productive queen. But yeah, I'll have to take you guys there, okay? I'm making a montage for my drive home. This is cute, because the sun looks good. Okay. Okay guys, I just got home. I didn't really film when I was at Brad's house, but I'll insert a video of his dog. So cute, he has three and they're so cute. I'm like obsessed. But yeah, today was so much fun. I have some cool collabs coming up with some of the other Raw Gear athletes and I'm really excited to share with you guys. So yeah, I hope you loved today's vlog. Comment down below what you want to see from me next. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on my other socials, and I'll see you next Thursday at 5.30. Oh, I forgot here.